Dragon Field team opened up at uh, Wake Forest University in Winston-Salem, North Carolina this past weekend and we're very excited to get the outdoor season kicked off. Uh, we had tremendous weather. Uh, I think it was close to 75, 80 degrees each day and the rain held off and we were able to get everything in that we needed. Uh, came away with, I believe, three school records. Uh, Jared set a, our freshman Jared Scarbach set a record in the 3,000 meter open. Uh, Oliver Daddario set a school record in the javelin, men's jav. And then Candace uh, Carajan set yet another school record, breaking the outdoor long jump. And so it was exciting to have some individual marks on the board. Gina set a, uh, I believe, race to the number two all time mark, just fractions away from setting the school record to 1,500. Uh, we had two number three all-time in the hammer, so our hammer throwers, uh, it looks like uh, Paul Yovonik's going to have a good season out there on the hammer. He is number three all-time now with that mark. And Allison Scowney, our freshman who did so well indoor, uh, started outdoor off on uh, the right foot with the hammer throw as well, both posting number three all-time marks. I think overall we had six top ten marks on the women's side and six top ten marks on the men's side as far as uh, the record board goes. And so that's pretty exciting. Uh, Gina Valgoy was a tremendous competitor, and I, I think the way Gina competed is the way I would like to see every person on our roster compete in their respective event. If we all compete like Gina competed in that 1500, we'll put together a great squad for the outdoor conference meet and beyond. Uh, Gina's uh, positioned herself well, or I think she can take a shot at the national meet also. And so it's exciting to see her progress. Uh, the men's 1500 was very encouraging as well. I think we had four guys run really nice marks there, some big PRs. Uh, Jake had a big PR. Sam, our freshman, ran well. But uh, most of all, it's good to see Danny and Josh still hitting on all cylinders. As we, We're kind of prepping those guys for the Stanford Invitational, which is a huge, huge meet for us. And those are uh, big opportunities for those guys individually. And so that's coming up shortly. Uh, as far as the upcoming meets, we've got the Raleigh Relays coming up with a, a a pared down squad. We're not going to have everybody at the Raleigh Relays, uh, but we'll follow Raleigh Relays with the Missouri Invitational, then the Iowa Invitational. Of course, we'll wrap up with the regular season with the Drake Relays, which is a tremendous event. And we'll try to run some hot relays over there. A uh, few other things uh, regarding this past weekend. We were uh, we rested a few athletes and didn't get everyone going yet, so I'm excited to see what we can do in the upcoming meets, especially these big meets and competitions. Uh, very excited about our long throws. We were able to get our javelin throwers out there, our hammer throwers out there, and our discus throwers out there, who mean a lot to our team as far as what we're going to be able to accomplish in May when we uh, head to the Horizon League Outdoor Meet. So overall, it was a great season opener. Uh, still a long way to go, but uh, very encouraging.